The 2018 FIM Snowcross World Championship and Women's World Cup returns to Finland for the first time since 2016. And this year it takes place at the Katila Levi Ski Centre in the northwest of the country. And in the Premier Class, Sweden's Adam Renheim is back to defend the title he won the last two years. He's also hoping to become a five-time world champion. In the Women's World Cup class, there have only ever been two winners. Elena Ehrman became the first winner in 2015 and won again last year, but she's not here to defend her title. Instead, all eyes will be on 2016 winner Marika Renheim, but with the little preparation coming into this event, she will need to keep an eye on her rivals as they hope to win the title for the first time. Welcome to Leve Finland for the 2018 FIM World Championship. But first, let's see what happened last year. On board with Ronja Renheim as Milena Andersson and Alina Oman disputed the whole shot. Despite leading briefly though from Amelia Dahlgren and Oman, Andersson suffered a problem with two laps to go and failed to finish. Renheim eventually came home third behind Dahlgren, but it was Alina Oman who won the final, adding a second World Cup title to her CV and she was the first ever winner back in 2015. After race one finish with Adam Renheim, Aki Pilaka, Elias Isuel as the top three, all eyes were on the same three riders to see who would take the overall victory. Adam Renheim led from the very first turn and quickly opened up a gap over Pilaka and Isuel, and the Swede cruised to the win in his fourth World Snowcross title. Pilaka and Isuel rounded out the podium alongside him in second and third. Now, let's see the onboard lap. It's an uphill start here at the Levi Ski Center. Hitting two small jumps before the riders reach the crest. And the unique thing about this racetrack here this weekend is the first time in recent history that we've had this World Championship on the side of a hill. So turn one disappears through this left-hander and then we start to drop down through a series of waves and you can expect them to rough out as the weekend goes on. They're nice and shallow at the moment. The snow quite deep here as well, but expect this to be one of the most dramatic parts of the racetrack. Get to the bottom of the hill turn left briefly as you can see there are two lines through that particular turn then there's a short uphill climb takes us into a right hander slightly banked to the outside then we exit this turn here on the run down towards the finish line jump and then we hit the final turn which is a left hander and we head back up the start straight to complete another lap I'm here today in Leve, Finland to race the World Cup. I'm here with my family, my brother is too, and um, my mom and dad and Daniel, that's mechanic and take care of everything else. I have won the World Cup two years ago, so of course today my goal coming into this weekend is uh, definitely to win another World Cup championship. Actually this year I didn't even mean to race this season so I haven't really prepared like I used to but I did a couple of races and thought it was fun and then did the Swedish championship which I won and then I maybe got more pushed into race this one too so but I'm here today so I will do my best. Bye bye! <laughs> My name is Matilda Moberg, rider from Sweden. Drive for Terreng Maskiner, also a Swedish team. A bit nervous about this World Championship, but it's going to be exciting to ride in a downhill slope. Maybe a bit like America, so it's going to be tough but fun. 
really excited and happy to have my team with me doing this. My name is Brigitte Olsen and I'm 16 years old and I come from Norway. I drive for a team called Olsen Racing and yeah, this is my first uh, championship and my goal is to finish, finish the race. It's the same if I come number one and the last because this is my first championship so I only, I'm only here for finish the race. Yeah. My name is Elvira Lind uh, and I'm from Sweden. Uh, I race for uh, Artecast uh, Team Sweden. My number is 11 and I race on my uh, Artecast. My goal for uh, the season is uh, for the weekend is uh, the podium. Bye bye! Marika Renheim on the ski do was the fastest qualifier in the Women's World Cup race, but not by much. She edged out Melina Anderson on the Arctic Cat by just 0.243 of a second. Third fastest was Amelia Dahlgren on the Polaris about 2.8 seconds further back. Fourth and fifth went to the two Lynx riders, Jenny Lundstrom and Susanna Lemstrom. So it'll be interesting to see how the races played out today. Start of the race then, on board Susanna Lemstrom, 48 on the links, a good start, but as you can see she was dropped to about 8 by the time she reached turn 1. Milena Anderson though was who led from Elvira Lind and Marika Renheim. Behind them, all kinds of things were going on, but it was Anderson who led on the Arctic Cat. Looking very good on the number 93 machine. Renheim was second on the 311 ski dupe. She did her best to keep Anderson in her sights and there was an intense battle for the lead in front of the Finnish fans. The battle for lead continued. These two dogging it out all the way through the race. But there were some nervous times though for Anderson as she started to approach the back markers. Matilda Norberg, number three in eighth. Renheim was second and closing in, but lost some time to the leader possibly because of poor visibility. On board there with Susanna Lemstrom as she found her way past the backmarker, Vera Virtanen. But the number 66, she wasn't so lucky. Julia Moschel, the race was red flagged as a result of her crash on the finish line jump, which meant that Anderson, 93, was declared the winner for the first time in her career. Official classification then of the first race, Anderson, Renheim and Dahlgren are in your top three with Lind, Lemstrom, Johansson, Fickstrom and Norberg. Race two coming up later. Hey guys, I'm uh, Nisse Schallström, uh, I'm from Sweden, I'm racing for Articat Team Sweden and uh, I'm here this weekend in Finland to race the FIM World Championship, I'm really looking forward to it. I just got back from USA, I have been there and raced the whole season for Woods Racing, so it's really cool to be, to be able to do some racing in Europe too. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this weekend, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. My name is Saki Pihlaja. I race with Lynx RS 600 VTEC. I'm a Lynx factory racer and uh, I live in Rovaniemi, Finland. And my goal is to win World Championship here in Levi.
Hi, my name is Adam Öhman. I'm from Sweden. I'm riding a Lynx for Team Öhman Racing. And my goals for this World Championship is top five for sure. And if I would get on the podium, it would be great. Bye. Hello, my name is Jarno Hietalahti. I am coming from Finland. I drive to Skidu and this is my home uh, race. I live near about Levi uh, 40 kilometers. My team is, uh, I have uh, two mechanics and one manager and one uh, like a ser service. I am prepa prepared to race some two weeks, practice, practice only this race and do everything that I can ready in tomorrow. Adam Renheim topped the qualifying in Group A with a time that was just 0.2 quicker than Nisi Shellstrom, who topped Group B, so we could be in for some very close racing today. Start of the first World Cup race then, charging up the hill. Who will it be that grabs the whole shot? Well, it looks like it was Elias Isowel, Martin Moland in second, Adam Renheim third as they ran it out the first couple of corners. Isowell, your leader, Molen second on the 75, Renheim third, Shellstrom on the 27th in fourth. Through the deep conditions here, heading uphill, one or two problems coming out of that turn, and a crash on the way up. Christopher Holm on the 610 Polaris, very lucky to rejoin the race given the conditions that he crashed in there, lucky no one hit him. Battle for the lead though, Renheim in second position, challenged. The number 75, Moland, Moland just had to yield at the bottom of the hill. Renheim was through, and so there was a new leader. And it was that guy there, number 311, Adam Renheim. Ilias Isowel on the ski do rode a steady race to take third on a very gruelling racetrack. Look at the way that the downhill starting to develop. Nisha Shellstrom there, 27 on the Arctic Cat took control of second in the closing stages after Molan crashed on the downhill. But in the end, the win went to Adam Renheim. He got his title defense off to a winning start with victory in race one, a margin of almost 12 seconds on his ski-do. Official confirmation then, Adam Renheim, Nisi Shellstrom, Elias Isowel, Emil Hart and Aki Piliaka. Victor Herten, Oscar Norum and Bolden Nash running out the top eight. Win in race one, all eyes on Milena Anderson. And it was her who got the second hole shot of the day. On board here with Susanna Lemstrom on the 48. She finds her way past Dahlgren to move from fifth to fourth. Renheim was in second, Elvira Lynn in third place. Anderson though, tried to make an early break at the head of the field. Renheim was in second, she knew she had to pass or at least beat Anderson if she was to win the title after Anderson was victorious in race one. It was an intense battle for the lead though between Anderson on the 93 and Renheim on the 311 and it continued for several laps as they pulled clear from the rest of the pack. 
the 93 of Anderson doing all she could. She was victorious in race one for the first time in her career, remember? And she was on course for picking up her first world crown. The fast starting Elvira Lind on the 11th fought to stay in the top six with Matilda Johansson on the 23 and Jenny Lundstrom, 115. But as the battle raced up front between Anderson and Renheim, Lynn finally passed Johansson, but then made a mistake late on and dropped back to 10th as Johansson took 6th. Anderson opened up a slight gap over Renheim, but then made a mistake on the tricky downhill that proved costly and Renheim took over the lead with 4 laps to go, a huge disappointment for the winner of race 1. Taking it easy in the closing stages then, Marika Renheim was able to cruise to victory in race two and with it she secured the world title. Official confirmation then of the race, Renheim, Melina Anderson, Amelia Dahlgren, Fanny Wikström, Bridget Olsen, 16 years old from Norway she is, who just wanted to finish the race and she ends up getting a sixth in the final race of the day. The overall classification then, Marika Renheim, Melina Anderson and Amelia Dahlgren, she had two third place finishes. Near as your podium, Amelia Dahlgren third overall, she's never finished off the podium in the World Cup since 2015. She's been third, second twice and now third again. Melena Anderson third in 2016. But your winner, Marika Renheim, also a winner in 2016. And it's the same three girls on the podium this year with Anderson and Dahlgren switching places. And there's your gold plate to your winner, Marika Renheim. Very, very happy right now because I didn't really expect this. I had no expectations, but it went really well. It was a really rough track today. And I had second place for a long, long time, but then I gained a bit when we came up to the lappers and I find a, a good way and a clean pass. So right now it feels really good. Start of the final race of the day, then race two for the World Snowcross Championship. On board with Magnus Rietzen on the 999, but it's Renheim with the whole shot as Adam Ehrman crashes at turn one right in front of Rietzen on the 999. Renheim leading the way though as Aki Pilaka in second. He was fifth in race one, challenging for the lead with Nisi Kjellström and Martin Molen third and fourth. Good start for Oscar Norum and Balder Nass and Marcus Ogemar, but on lap three, a surprise attempt by Pilica to take the lead from Renheim on that downhill section. It was successful, even if it was pretty scary to watch. The home fans loved it. A lap later though, and this time it was Renheim who surprised Pilica to go from second to first. The exact same move for the lead, and the lead continued to chain hands on the downhill for the next few laps. It really was a thrilling second race. These two fought Hammer and tongs, but the 29 went out. That was Bolden Ass. So he struck bad luck. Made a good start to the race as well, so disappointment for him. The battle for the lead, though, was intense, and there was nothing in it between Piliaka on the number two and Renheim, the 311, the defending champion, looking to make it three world titles in a row. But in the end, the number two of Piliaka seemed to be doing just enough and he crossed the line to win in front of his home fans but it was Renheim who took the title with his second place finish in race two. <laughs> Official confirmation then, Aki Pilaka, Adam Renheim, Martin Moland, Nisa Shellstrom and Oscar Norum. That was the result from race two. The overall classification for the weekend, Adam Renheim, Pilaka, Shellstrom, Norum and Emil Hart. Ogemar, Hurton and Rieten running out the top eight and the overall classification for the World Snowcross Championship of course the same as it was for the overall classification. Renheim wins his third straight title, Pilioka second, Shellstrom third, the same podium as 2016. Norum was fourth and Emil Parr was fifth. So third overall then, Nisi Shellstrom, second Aki Pilioka and Adam Renheim your overall winner. Renheim winning his third world title in a row and his fifth in total now. He was also victorious in 2013 and 2014. He finally gets his hands on the goal plate. The Renheim family doing the double this weekend with Marika and Adam both winning in 2016 as well. Won my fifth FIM World Championship goal here in Leve. 
really, really happy. Uh, it was a tough day, but uh, the sled and the team and yeah, also me worked really, really hard and we made it as smooth as possible. So yeah, what can I say? I'm really, really happy and uh, I'm uh, yeah, happy that I'm done with this and can look forward to the summer now and the fifth title. It's a, yeah, it's a blessing to be able to put, it, put five plates up there on my wall. So thank you. Well, that's it for 2018. Join us for more World Championship Snowcross action next year. My name's Paul Malin. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye for now.